Hello YouTube. All right, let's convert a power supply today. This is from a server. It's rated around 700 watts of power at 12 volts, so it's it's pretty beefy. And if you're like me, uh, you need a power supply so you can hook it up to a boost converter, so you can charge your e-battery or LiPo battery. But it's from a server, so if you just power it on, it's not going to give you anything. It's, it's you've got pinouts here that need to be in the right combination, so. You need to trick this guy thinking it's, it's plugged into a server, so we're going to do that today, all right? But first of all, just letting you know, this involves high voltage, and high voltage can be dangerous, and if you don't have any idea how to work with high voltage, please don't do this because 240 volts in Australia, that can kill you instantly, okay? Now, even though these capac capacitors is discharged, but working with this is dangerous. If you don't have any idea, please don't do this. It's at your own risk, okay? So the first thing what we need to do is just look at the pin out here and get a piece of paper and just draw them in a piece of paper. So I got eight pins that way, eight pins running down, and also obviously this is going to be the output, okay? So we've got outputs here. So let's do some PCB tracing to understand what's going on here, right? Now, you can apply for this power supply PPD7002 but you can use the same principle because they all work the same way you know so to speak to to convert your power supply whatever you picked up from the scrapyard and hopefully this video will help you okay let's get started okay the next step we're going to do a couple of things okay we're going to put the multimeter on continuity mode or just put it on resistance mode and start measuring the resistance between your ground the sassy and between this pin. So I've got pulled a dead short on this pin and also on the output pin. This is what I've got. So I believe that's going to be your negative rail. All right, so once you've done that, power this on, put the power on. As you can see, nothing happens. I've got the output connected to the light bulb there, but nothing turns on. But I went ahead and measured the voltages on those pins and I pulled a five volt here and a five volt here. So the idea is now, is to ground the 5 volt using a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the ground. So for the 1 kilo ohm, I'm using a potentiometer. So I'm setting the resistance on the middle pin to 1 kilo ohm so you don't damage anything. So always ground these pins using a resistor. Do not connect this directly to the ground. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, when I connect the 5 volts here in this rail to that pin using a 1 kilo ohm resistor, in my case, as I said, I'm using a variable resistor set to 1K. Now, I'm getting some voltages coming out of the rail, okay? So this is what I've got. So, 5 volts on those two pins, 12, 12, 12. And then, again, these are grounds, okay? So, let's see if I connect the load to this pin. It's hard to film and do it at the same time. Now, as you can see, there's, we're getting 12 volts coming out. We measured the, measured the voltage, you guys, trust me, it's coming out. But the problem is, the fan is not turning on. So let's figure it out how we can actually enable the fan on this system, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, a bit of a PCB back tracing, and I worked it out. Now, the first pin is, appears to be the fan trigger pin. You can connect that to any of your 5 12 volt supply. You can connect that to that pin there or there, it doesn't really matter. I'm referring to the output, okay? Now guys, just keep in mind, see these heat sinks? They're 240 volts in Australia, so that's what we run the mains power. These, if you touch them, it will kill you, literally. So don't open the cover. I've worked all that out here. So this is the pinout. You don't need to open the cover. So follow this instruction, you should be able to power this, but it's again at your own risk, okay? Not taking any responsibility for it. Now hard to see but I'm gonna connect that to my plus 12 yep fan is on and the bulb is on so we basically hack the power supply so this is the principle any power supply work but for this particular model which is PPD 7002 this is the pinout this is what you need to do to get it going and good luck and wish you all the best